Hi guys, welcome to Studio X and today's trick is how to make things look underwater using displacement maps. So you can see in this example we have some text and it looks like it's under the water being affected by the ripples in the pool. So let's get started. To get started we have a sample video of some water and uh, it ripples around, there's just motion, uh, you know, just everyday stuff. So let's go ahead and make a new composition. I'm gonna make it square, 2000 by 2000, and I'm gonna make it 10 seconds long. Perfect. And let's go ahead and drag in our video element in. So it's a little bit bigger than the frame, which is fine for me. I like the way that this is uh, cropped in. So as you can see, if you play it, that's it. That's just the video. There's uh, ripples in the water, some small ones here, some big ones here, but there's nothing you know, no, nothing too crazy. So let's go ahead and make our element. So let's go ahead and make our text layer. And I'm gonna call this underwater. And I'm actually gonna make it two lines, um, just so we can make the font bigger and you can really see it affected. Let's go ahead and make it impact so we can really see. Perfect, and let's go ahead and align it to the center. This is just a little too big. I think this is good. Already looks like an album cover or something. Now I'm just gonna go and go ahead and pre-comp this, and I'm just gonna call this text. And this is just so in case if you wanna change it, you can easily go in and add a picture in here or anything of that sort. So that's all good to go. And let's change the blending mode to soft light. So now you can see it kind of look like, looks like it's underwater. And you can play around with different modes. You can go to overlay, but I think soft light looks good. It kind of looks like it's just slightly underneath. Now, what we are going to do is duplicate the video layer. So you can do that by hitting Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac. And we're gonna bring it up top and we are going to put in Luma key. And let's go ahead and drop it onto our new video layer. And let's rename this to be highlights. And this is to make the highlights on top of the water uh, appear on top of the text. So if you just solo this, you'll be able to see that when you're cranking this up, it only picks up the brightest spots. So if you only want the extra bright spots, I think something like this. And if you go and type in fast blur, you can just take a fast blur and put it on top and blur it out just ever so slightly. So now when you unsolo it, you can see that the highlights are on top of the water, on top of the text. So maybe I'm not gonna crank it as much. We just want it a little bit. And for blending, blending mode, let's do screen. So you can see now it is starting to layer on top of the water. So you can see before, after, before, after really helps uh, layer on top of that. Now the biggest key is select your text layer and in the effects and presets, let's type in displacement and you'll find displacement map. So if you take it, drag it onto the text, you can choose the source and we're gonna choose video one, which is the bottom video, which is right here. And for horizontal map, we're gonna go with luminance, which is the brightness, and we're gonna do that for both. Now you can see, I'm just gonna zoom in and make the quality full. So you can see if you start cranking the horizontal displacement, it displaces it horizontally. And if you choose the vertical displacement, it displaces it vertically. So, and if you look at these bigger, bigger rays, you can see if I went to the positive number, it goes in the opposite direction. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm trying to align it to look similar to the way that the water is looking. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see that it looks like our text is underwater. So this simple technique can be used for many different projects. You know, if you're shooting an underwater scene and you're adding green screen elements, you can use your source footage to actually get the displacement to make it fit into your scene. 
So I think this is a great result and it's perfect for social media, you know, small commercials, you know, you can use it in many different ways, even album covers, animated album covers, anything you want. So that's basically today's easy and simple trick and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be and hit the bell not and hit the bell icon to be notified when I release more videos. On that note, I'll see you guys in the next one.